Hey YouTube, this is Mike. Today is April the, 20, the 14th, 2023. And the purpose of this video will be to gather evidence playing the crafts game at Urgent Games. I have noticed playing this before that there is a surfeit, meaning an excess number of totals of 11. So that is my theory that this game rolls too many 11s and now I'm going to do the next step in the scientific process, which is gather evidence. So I'm going to do 100 rolls and keep track of every single roll. And as my witness, I have Diana here observing. Are you ready, Diana? Yes, I am. Here we go. And by the way, sometimes after, after I roll, you will see that the dice as well as the total and sometimes they don't agree, and I'm going to go with the dice themselves, not what it says the total is. So here we go, roll number one. 11. 5. 6. Seven, four, eleven, eleven, ten. Nine, eight. So after ten rolls, we have had three elevens, eleven, eleven. 6, 11, 10, 9, 8, 9, 8, 11, 6, 6, Five. It what do you have to it say, said Diana? Came out eleven, even though it was five. So did the dice say five and the total said eleven? Is that what you're saying? That's correct. Okay. Um, like I said at the beginning of this, where they disagree, I'm going with the dice, not what the number says. So here we go. Eleven, five, eleven, twelve, nine. Three, five. See? Yeah, you're absolutely right. And it does this. I've noticed it before. One time it announced a total of 12 is 13. 
11. Eleven. Eleven. You'd be winning. <laughs> if I were betting on eleven. Five. Eleven. Six. Nine, eleven, nine, eleven, three. Eleven, nine. Look, yep, there it is again. You're, you're right, but I'm I'm marking it down as a nine. Right, but there it was. You're right. It it, it happens many times where they disagree. Cause see, I would kind of like notate that where it was wrong. Six. Eight. Four, eleven. So that we're halfway done. That's fifty rolls, and we've had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eleven so far. Here we go, roll number 51. Three. Eleven. Six. Eleven. Twelve, seven, eleven, five. Six, four, six, eleven, nine. Four, nine, six, eleven. So that's seventy rolls, by the way. Three. Seven, seven, eleven, seven, eleven.
11. Seven. Nine. That's eighty rolls. Five. Ten. Three. Eleven, five, ten, nine, not a uh, eight. Nine, seven, that's ninety, eleven, eleven, nine. Ten, nine, twelve. So noted. Ten, nine, twelve. So noted. Three, ten, and here is the one hundredth roll. Seven. So, Diana, let's each count up the number of elevens, okay? Okay, um, I get 29. Do you agree, Diana? Yes. So uh, out of 100 rolls, we got 29 11s. Um, statistically speaking, we could expect to get only 100 divided by 18, which is 5.6. So in the next part of this video, I'm going to do some math to determine how unlikely it is to get 29 11s in 100 rolls. Hey YouTube, it's Mike and I am back with the post-mortem on the 100 rolls we just did. But before I get into it, I do want to explain that I already did this experiment with the same software Urgent Games and their game Hexacraps. And that game is played with two dreidels as opposed to dice. But it would appear that the dreidels are still numbered 1 to 6. And the results there were very fishy too. And I will leave a link to that video in this video description. However, let's get to the game played with six-sided dice. And I recorded all 100 rolls here in column A in Excel. And here is a count of how often here in column D each total was observed. For example, we had a total of two zero times, three six times, four four times, but where it really gets off the charts in terms of expectations is with a total of 11. I might remind you the probability of rolling an 11 with fair dice is 1 in 18, or 5.56%. So we should have seen 5.56 11s on average in 100 rolls, but instead we saw 29. What are the odds of that, you may ask? Well, if we use the binomial distribution to just look at 11s, the probability of getting exactly 29 11s in 100 rolls 
is this number right here. That is 0 0.000000000000. 0048. However, it's probably easier to express as 1 in 11 trillion 791 billion 678 million 845,390. And the probability of getting 29 or more 11s in 100 rolls is 1 in 10 trillion. 166 billion, 139 million, 113,703. And if we do a chi-squared test on the whole distribution, which considers every single total, what uh, we can see the uh, chi-squared, how shall I put this, the term for each total in this column here, G, it all adds up to 117.542. So doing a chi-squared test with a chi-squared statistic of 117.542 and 10 degrees of freedom, Y10, it's because there's 11 different possible totals with two dice and you subtract one. So that probability, the p-value, with a distribution so skewed as this that we see in column G is one in, let me make sure I have my terminology right, 62 quintillion, 722 quadrillion, 712 trillion, 588 billion, 993 million, and 600,000. And by the way, my usual apologies that Excel can only handle about 15 significant digits. So that's why the last five digits there are zero. So there we go. I hope I have made my case that the craps results with urgent software are fishy to say the least. And I think what the, something that might have to do with this is the whole time I had a bet on Yo11, it was the same bet the whole time. For some reason, it never got taken off the table, whether it won or lost. But I suspect that maybe the game was trying to help me win in free mode. I'm not making a formal accusation there. It's just a theory. However, my theory at the beginning of this video that the dice were not rolling randomly, I think I have proven beyond a shadow of a doubt. So that's all I have to say. I would like to thank Diana for being my witness to all this. And I will see you in another video. Bye, YouTube.